I think we've, we've gone through this phase where, where we have continued to optimize protosome inhibitors and imids and, and have worked around convenience, including transformation of them into oral agents. So, so, so what's in the horizon that is very promising in my mind is monoclonal antibodies. Uh, there's two major types, those that target C38, which is, as uh, clinicians know, it's a marker in the cell surface of, of myeloma cells that directly bind to the plasma cells and kill them, as well as uh, elotuzumab, which uh, uh, enhances uh, uh, the ability of the immune system through NK cells primarily uh, to kill myeloma cells. And I think the, those two are, are, are promising to be uh, tools, uh, hopefully in the very near future, in our, in our, in our armamentarium against multiple myeloma. Um, I believe we'll have phase three clinical trial data coming out pretty soon for elotuzumab, and similarly large trials are being conducted with anti-CD38 antibodies. So um, my hope, and I, I think this is the hope of everyone else in the, in, in, in the myeloma community, is that we will have something equivalent to the ARCHOP. Um, my, my colleague, uh, Sagar Lonial, has stated that myeloma is the only disease that naturally produces a monoclonal antibody, for which we don't have a therapeutic monoclonal antibody, and I think the curse is going away now.